You're looking at the evidence of fault creep, the two halves of Cal's Memorial Stadium gradually splitting apart as the earth moves on either side of the Hayward Fault. Maps from the U.S. Geological Survey show the fault cuts right through the stadium, but the Oak Grove, where Cal wants to put its new training facility, is not on the fault. And in an earthquake, a university spokesman says near and on are very different. Imagine you have a building where under its foundation it's going like this. So that's on, right? Then you have to you know, build in hinges and all sorts of other stuff. If it's near, then you're just going to get shaking. A judge has ruled the partially underground training facility would be a separate structure from the stadium, meaning a law that restricts building on top of faults would not apply. But UC's plans to remodel the actual stadium are a different story. The judge says the law limits remodeling to half of the stadium's current value, and that means the big question is how much this 80-year-old stadium is worth. The university's opponents claim it's worth between zero and ten million dollars, meaning Cal could get less than five million to renovate it, not nearly enough for what they've planned. But the university argues that Memorial Stadium is more than just a concrete structure. They say it's a piece of history, and that historical value makes it worth hundreds of millions more. It's a one-of-a-kind structure. It was voted by Sports Illustrated as the single best venue to watch college football. Cal puts the stadium's value at $593 million, the same as what it would cost to build a new one from scratch. If that number sticks, the law would give them almost $300 million to fix it up. The courts ordered an appraisal of the stadium. In the meantime, Cal says it can build the training facility with or without that remodeling. In Berkeley, Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.